basketball you it's good to see you once again got some information for you today definitely got to keep filling your brain with that basketball information for your basketball mind for your basketball lifestyle and i hope you've been training with us daily as we continue to provide some skills that you need in order to achieve the goals that you want to to succeed of course and then we also want you to go ahead and hit that like button and then also comment if you want to continue the conversation any questions that you have about basketball or any questions that you have about basketball you please let us know and we will get back to you as soon as possible and now let's get into today's episode so today we are going to talk about a question that most people don't really have an answer to because basketball players have such a wide variety of game right there's shooters there's ball handlers there's defenders there's rebounders and there's just good passers so what is the most important skill needed to basically be the best basketball player you can be well i don't think it's any of those skills that people discuss on tv all the time i think the skill is mental toughness yes that's right sometimes we ask ourselves can we coach mental toughness can we teach mental toughness i think it all starts with the foundation at the very beginning but i'm going to help you here for a lot of you that are in basketball right now and for those who are just starting out so talking about mental toughness i want to talk about how to achieve mental toughness in basketball there are several key strategies that a player can use when it comes to starting to develop it because it's not going to happen right there for you as soon as you start right like as soon as we step on the floor we are not going to know how to just have mental toughness there are certain scenarios there are certain things that you will experience that you are going to have to prepare yourself for and i'm going to let you know what's going to come before you experience it so now when you see it you can identify it understand what's happening and work towards a goal to achieve that mental toughness so first we have develop a growth mindset Okay, players with the growth mindset are more likely to view these challenges I just spoke about as opportunities for growth and learning. Now, this will help them stay motivated and focused even when they face setbacks personally, individually, and outside of everything that they can control, those setbacks that other people will put on them based on all the different scenarios that come with basketball. The list is so long. I may even have to do another episode on that. So once you understand that, the next thing would be to set goals. And when we are setting goals, we're not so much talking about point totals, assists, amount of rebounds. We're goal setting more in the importance of how can we deal with a certain part of mental toughness that we want to develop and just like a scoring goal or a skill goal we want to set them short term and long term and work consistently in achieving these goals based on again those different scenarios which i'll give you an example here later in the episode right so visualize success Okay, that is going to have more of a positive outlook and attitude while trying to deal with these setbacks and also achieve these goals you have set for yourself. So by visualizing yourself performing well all of the time, even if you're not the short term and the small goal you have set for yourself, you can build confidence and reduce anxiety. This anxiety comes from when I get ready to go to practice, when I get ready to go train, when I get ready to play in a game, 
something's already going to happen before you've even touched the floor. So in order to reduce that, the consistency of you thinking positively while you're working hard in your training sessions, working hard in your practice and also working hard in games will reduce that stress level and the pressure that you've put on yourself. OK, so that is one thing that we don't want to experience when we haven't even stepped on the floor. Remember, parents, players, basketball, you family, the game is supposed to be fun. The work is hard, but the game should be fun. OK, so the playing aspect is the part and the reward of all of this. So never forget that and always keep that in scope. And with that fun that I'm speaking about, we also want to have a controlled self-talk, okay? A controlled self-talk is basically the way players will talk to themselves so they can have a significant impact on their mindset. So what I'm saying that is when I make a mistake, I don't tell myself I shouldn't play basketball or I'm not very good. I should tell myself, something in the positive nature of i will make a better play next time i will make that shot next time or i'm going to try harder next time all these things that happen when you fail is just another stepping stone of learning so you take that lesson and you also take that talk and you're going to practice as you would anything else positive self-talk and avoid the negative self-criticism because a lot of the negative self-criticism you won't have to do it yourself majority of it's going to come from the outside especially when you're doing well so the idea of that is if you are talking to yourself negatively and then there is added negative talk to your self-talk you will then feel more pressure, more anxiety to perform at a level that has been built up in your mind due to pressure that you've put on yourself and pressure that's coming from others. So continue to practice over and over again that positive self-talk needed. Now, looking into the next thing is staying in the present moment. Now, when you are able to stay in the present moment, mental toughness requires that focus on the present moment because that's when everything is happening right away and you have to have a reaction of some kind. So what is that reaction going to be? Is it going to be a reaction that is a distraction or are you going to be proactive and positive in your reaction to move forward? So again, Something that I talked about in an episode before, players can use techniques such as mindfulness meditation to improve your ability to stay focused and present in that moment of anything that's going on, negative and positive. So please remember the repetition of positive energy and a positive mindset. And the biggest thing you want to lastly think about is working on embracing those challenges. See, those challenges come in all different shapes and sizes when it comes to basketball and it comes at all different levels, especially when you play basketball year round. So mental toughness involves being able to take on these challenges and push yourself out of your comfort zone and you got to seek out these opportunities to challenge yourself and learn from those experiences. When you practice these strategies, you can develop a greater mental toughness, which can help you perform at the highest level that you've been working to achieve. And when we think about this, it's not so much about the scenario of a player missing several shots in a row or even in the final minutes of a close game and you kind of let your team down because you didn't score enough or you didn't score the last points. The biggest thing is dealing with maybe a situation where you are working hard and maybe the coach doesn't believe in you. 
how are you going to deal with that? Or there can be a situation where you're doing what you think is hard work, but your teammates don't want to work as hard as you. So now do you continue to work hard or do you scale back on your work ethic because you want to get along and have friends on the team? So there's all these different scenarios that I could continue to throw at you, but you have to remember mental toughness also coincides with positive attitude. So you want to have both. So we started with mental toughness and we ended with mental toughness and a positive attitude. With those two skills, you're on your way to start the right path of being a good basketball player. Again, this information is for you here daily as we will continue to talk positive to you and we will even create an episode where we will talk about positive self-talk and how you do that so you can continue to strive for the highest level of basketball that you want to achieve each and every day basketball you i can't thank you enough for joining me as you always do thank you for listening in and i'm going to tell you one thing remember someone's always working Are you?